this morning in Ottawa, where protests began, they were ready for anything from the government. He's backed himself into a corner, and now he's trying to show off and use all his powers to crush something that he could have solved two weeks ago. Anticipation built all day long about exactly what the Prime Minister was going to announce in invoking the Emergencies Act, even as protesters vowed nothing would make them budge. And funny hit an industry that had, you know, the machinery and, and the, the gumption to get up and, and make a stand. Oh, I'm okay getting arrested. Yep. And if they really got to it, I mean, I've lived a good life. Then came the announcement. Financial institutions will be authorized or directed to render essential services to help address the situation, including by regulating and prohibiting the use of property to fund or support illegal blockades. That means freezing truckers' corporate accounts, insurance companies revoking their coverage, and yet, even with that threat, tonight, protesters weren't budging. We've come to a point in life where they're after us for everything we got anyways. So you can come out and do it now, or you can do it later. So I believe that most of the guys here see this is the final straw. Tyler Armstrong says he lost his cross-border work as soon as the vaccine mandates kicked in. So he's got nothing better to do than stay parked right here. Police out here have been nothing but kind to us. We've been nothing but kind to them. Uh, I don't see any problems arising. Despite an already existing provincial state of emergency, police conducted no enforcement over the weekend in front of Parliament. The question now, will these new powers change anything? And how quickly? Rafi Bujikanian, CBC News, Ottawa.